Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to Podcastage 2, the channel where I review stuff that's too boring to review on the main channel. Today, I am reviewing this USB sound card, which is the Sabrent Stereo USB-SBCV USB sound card. Here is a quick overview of what the USB sound card looks like. It isn't all plastic construction, but it does feel like it's pretty nice plastic. There are also buttons on the front which allow you to mute the microphone, mute the headphone volume, as well as increase or decrease the headphones volume. When I tested out the headphones on this USB sound card and then compared the audio quality of my headphones plugged directly into my computer, there really wasn't any difference. So if you're just gonna be using regular headphones, just basic over the counter everyday standard headphones, I think you'll be fine. Here's a quick look at the voltage test showing you that about four and a half volts make it to the microphone when we plug directly into this USB sound card. Okay, so as you can see, I have my sound preferences open right here, and my input gain is set at maybe 10 or 15%. The reason I am able to set it so low is because this USB sound card is providing about four and a half volts to the microphone, which is what's essential for an electric condenser microphone like the NW800, which is what I'm using to work well. Now I'll go ahead and be quiet, drop the input gain down to 0% and slowly increase it so you can hear what kind of background noise is generated by this sound card. Okay, now I've connected the microphone to a phantom power supply and then connected the phantom power supply to the USB sound card. And as you can see in my system preferences, I've been able to drop my gain down to about 4% and in all honesty, I may be able to drop it even lower. Um, so let's go ahead and just decrease it even more. And you can still see I'm getting a decent signal. But I'll go ahead and be quiet so you can hear what kind of background noise is generated at a 1 or 2% input gain setting. Okay, now I am plugged into the Pile PD Mic 58, which is just a standard dynamic microphone. This microphone requires zero voltage to work. I just wanted to give you an idea of what a dynamic microphone sounds like when it's plugged into this adapter using an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable. So all around, I think this is a pretty nice sound card. Sure, it is $10 at the time that I'm making this video, but to me, that seems like a pretty good deal when the other option is buying a $5 or $6 sound card and then investing another $20 in a phantom power supply. So if you are going to be using an electric condenser microphone, I would highly recommend this, but I do want to warn you, in the past, Sabrent has changed the audio chip in their adapters with no notice to the public, so... I would be wary of buying Sabrent devices for that reason alone, but for the time being, I would recommend it. I will link the exact place I bought it from in the description in case you're interested in that. All right, well, that will do it. If you have any more questions about this sound card or if you want me to test any microphones out on it, leave those requests or questions in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, thumbs down. If you want more of these very specific reviews, subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe to the main channel, which is just youtube.com slash podcastage. And lastly, I don't think there's anything else. I'll see you all later. Bye.